God a loving father in these very difficult moments under which the world is undergoing as we begin to address some of the issues posed by this pandemic be always the beginning and the end of what we do from to act through your grace and bring a press conference to, to, and we ask for this for Christ our Lord Amen. for the matters of Uganda for the Son and the Holy Spirit most welcome your grace Thank you very much, Chancellor, dear members of the press, to all the priests, the religious, and the lay faithful of the Archdiocese of Kampala. What I'm going to give are pastoral guidelines to all priests, religious, and the faithful of the Archdiocese of Kampala as we deal with, with this threat of the coronavirus pandemic. Dear people of God, considering the directives of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, as well as the guidelines of the Uganda Episcopal Conference delivered by the Chairman of the Conference, kindly receive the following personal guidelines for use in the Archdiocese of Kampala. Gatherings have been banned, but celebrating Holy Mass has not been banned. That has to be made very, 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 very clear. The sacrifice of Holy Mass, other sacraments and sacramentals, as recommended by Canon number 904, the priests are continuing to celebrate the sacrifice of Holy Mass daily, but at a private level. Kindly contact them via their mobile phones for your intentions and counseling. However, care as well as prudence are to be observed in administering the sacraments and sacramentals. What does Canon 904 say? It says the following, that indeed the daily celebration of the Eucharist is honestly recommended because even if it should not be possible to have the people present, it's an action of Christ and the church in which priests fulfill their principal role. So, even if gatherings have been banned, but we have the obligation of celebrating Holy Mass privately. Two, the ministering of God's word through the media. In order to uphold our closeness to the people of God, the church will continue to reach out to the faithful via the available means of social communications. For example, via television broadcasts, we plan to broadcast mass on various television stations for the faithful to follow. The television stations and the time when these masses will take place will be communicated to you so that you can tune in and follow. Sunday Mass at the Cathedral will also be broadcast on live TV as per the guidelines from the Grand Episcopal Conference. The faithful are dispensed from personally attending the sand obligations during this period when public gatherings are banned. However, the faithful are encouraged to tune in every Sunday to prayerfully follow the sacrifice of Holy Mass and spiritually join their prayer intentions to those of the celebrating priests. Two, via Radio Maria and Radio Sapiencia. These are already broadcasting daily masses for the faithful. 
you are therefore encouraged to tune in to these radio stations so as to follow mass and obtain spiritual nourishment and comfort in this time of trial. Already some parishes have broadcasted their programs for having masses celebrated uh, via radio, uh, respectively. Then, via sermons, homilies, and reflections, all these are also going to be live streamed or posted on the, on the adjacent social media platforms, namely our website, YouTube channel, and Facebook page, which are going to have material for spiritual nourishment. We are all encouraged to visit our website, Facebook page, and YouTube channel to follow. Three, the primacy of prayer both in homes and in the life of the church. The catechism of the Catholic Church refers to the home, to the family, as the domestic church. And that can be found in number 1656. In this period, I encourage families to engage in an active and intensive prayer life, begging the Lord to help the world overcome this threat of COVID-19. I call upon families to say a traditional morning and prayers, commonly known as the Kisinde, then also to recite the Angelus, recite the Rosary, and also uh, the prayer that the Pope has composed to this effect. Remembering the miraculous cure of a similar plague, Kawumpuri, in the past, through the intercession of the Uganda Martyrs, and this took place in 1942, when there was a plague where there was no medicine. And people were advised and encouraged to pray through the intercession of the Holy Matter, to pray through the intercession of the matters, and miraculously this plague disappeared. I strongly appeal to you to pray through the intercession of the Uganda Matters. Every Friday during Lent, we have the way of the cross. So during this dedicated period, the way of the cross is to be carried out in our respective homes. The rites of Holy Week, starting from Palm Sunday, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Vigil, and Easter Sunday, are not to be publicly celebrated by the faithful and follow the celebrations from home as it will be aired out on various means of social communication. And we shall also be broadcasting a program for that period. The Karchumans who have been awaiting baptism during the Easter Vigil may continue their formation in their families. They'll be baptized at a later date to be announced. Four. The reading and meditating on the word of God at home. I encourage you in this time to revive the spirit of meditating on the daily word of God at family level so as to obtain nourishment from it. For it is not only alive and active, but also gives life. In the Catholic Church, all over the world, we have a system that on each particular day, particular readings have been taken. And those are taken all over the world, China, India, Asia, etc. And those are well indicated that the Christians know. So please read them in your respective homes. Number five, 
the ministry to the sick, the poor, and the bereaved. It's important that the sick and the bereaved should be taken care of by the ministers, healthcare workers, and the whole community, bearing in mind the directives of the president as well as those of the Ministry of Health. These personal guidelines start with immediate effect. May the Blessed Virgin Mary help of the sick and comfort of the afflicted intercede for us all in this trying time. That her son, our Lord Jesus Christ, may heal the world of this courage of the coronavirus. Then there's what we call an act of spiritual uh, communion in the Catholic Church. Started several years ago by St. Aloysius Alphonsus Liguri. Since members of the public shall not be able to receive Holy Communion, let each one of us make an act of spiritual communion composed by St. Alphonsus Liguri. And this is what he says. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Then the following prayer should be recited in this challenging moment of the corona pandemic. It will be distributed. So I wish to conclude the follow with the following prayer to be recited in these challenging times. God our loving Father, we come to you now in our great need, namely, to ask for your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has claimed many lives and has affected many people all over the world. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature, the cause of this virus, finding its cure, and stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of the medical experts, the government, and the legal leaders for the effective medical as well as pastoral care. We pray that we may minister to the sick with the competence as well as with compassion. We also pray for our government and the agencies that assist them to handle well and effectively this new challenge. May God grant them the knowledge to find the right cure and solution to this pandemic. We also pray for those afflicted. May they be restored soon to good health. Give us faith, hope, and love in handling effectively the current emerging challenges. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the image of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Holy Matters of Uganda intervene and pray for us. We are sincerely Archbishop Cyprian Kistolwanga. Thank you for listening. Eliya was so so dirty, but not Dini. Never kissed him when I'm so sorry. Ne kulu eliye kampala. Ebi na agobere ruwa abaso so dirty, but not Dini. Never kissed him when I'm so sorry. Kulu eliye kampala. Mbude buno uwa coronavirus. Anu ba kula mu na. Gatu majo kuli na mbika ya president wa fua Uganda, kusako inunga miya ya biskopa fe, 
aba Uganda Uganda Episcopal Conference yibatu wadde atwo ko ntugatta ko nebyo a Roma byatu gamba nsaba enkola eno wa manga ijja ogobererwa musazali afiri ne kulu eri Kampala obudde buno wa corona virus icho kiraddala ekitambiro kya misa amasakramentu na malala ne mikolo a yekirizia ne wankubadde enkungana esusa bantu ekumi nga president byagambye e zagani dwa ne finga basosoloji kitujia ko vunanyizibwa kusoma misa za fe buli runako era kino kirambikiddwa bulungi muteka ali afe namba luenda munya etu gamba anti e abasuru bongera umaso kweri zibitambiro byebimisa ya de mungeri itali ya bulijjo ngira twali na ba kristu mbasa bandu mungeri okwata kana nabo obyeta ago bya mwe baba sabire ate abyanjwe likatonda mu bitambiro bya misa ejo zibage ndo kuereza ili katonda yano kulambikwa mu kino na kiri ukitagisiza wabula bino byonna tubikola fenna tuberebe genderize nyo shoboloku walo kusasanya ate no kufuna obulwadde buno de kabusa ekyo kubiri okugize kyambu kya katonda nga tukolese mikutu gempuliziganya ekirezi okusobola okusigala nga bana be bali bali kumpi era nga bakuma kuma tujja kusigala tuliziganya kuje mpuliziganya mungire no bamanga tujja kuita mikutu ya television ya mujo kutegezewa ekyo kubiri tujja kozesa radio za fe radio maria ati radio sapiencia kuleza ko misa Ninga chino chata ni kwa da na kwa dengu kwa dhibu na tivu na jia. Bwitu chivolo kwe taba mchisa ambilo umuoyu ati to kupa gizibwa nitufuna amanyi mbo dhibu na kwa kazi gizigi. Kituku nita nga kuwa matabi uluku na utuku uluku na utuku inyusha pasika na isani ya mazukira kwa na yu program ya kwa te gizibwa. Ejiambo cha kato, awaloni, awalote wote kikibua, ukubati zibuwa mchilo cha pasika, buongere ukubanguwa makaga hawe, nina jivuja, baja ukubati zibuwa kuruba nyuma po. Ejiambo cha kato, ejiambo cha kato, ulubi hudo kutufu dala ukubongere ukufuna akade, Tuwebu kuli kujigambo cha katonda kuli unaku makaka ufi. Tine kula mwekili cha katolika, tibuli unaku kubaku amasomo kituwe uri yako, agasoma mumbisa wuna mwusi. Buwe tutio, itukungiru kasoma makaka ufi, kwa garambi kituwa mwungi, kituwa wisala za ufi. Buwe tutio tukulu kulisi wa ufi na mbula mungu bulamu wa fe ubumu ubumu yo ejo chan uweza wa fe ya walwadde ate na bafiridwa abalwadde na walwaziza ya kuna bafiridwa chikuru nyo kumanya anti ekirezi ya basabira wawo Kati tuwela bide na ndika ya president na kituwele cha government ya chokula mungu Elane nungamia ya batu wa fe wa Uganda Nga wawe kumiza kutani dokola nga kufiri duwa Nkule eno etani kila uku nambilo Kuchaba nyafi viki na maleo meandua wawe wali Likikuwa gizo ya banyore duwa 
Asabiri kina mukati kana kazi kuke tulimu. Umano yu mkama wa Fezu Kristu. Nisiyo na jitas na ukira uwadi unu wa coronavirus. Atitu kune kumunyu yoko yu gumba. I alfonsi ya wanjifia ku esara wa sibubu longi. Imumanyi ulongi. Kutu wajagia na umukamu. Atuyambe, atusase. Ii, atangaze ya wamakisi. Apaswe ubafu. Bungiru kuruye zaati nukuzulete gala itufu. Inatuyamba. Ukumula nukujia njava uguwa tewa filona. Nukali kumpu liya wa mkumu. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo kwa hivyo kwa hivyo kwa hivyo kwa hivyo. Uh, my name is Lobat Tatkunda. I work with the Daily Monitor. I wanted to know how many weddings have been affected and also the children who are going to be baptized. How many weddings have been affected? The number is very many. And those are really from parish to parish. Okay, so some have been arranging here and there are other specific ways. But what say they are many? But specifically here, how many have been affected? What do you mean by here? Here I'm talking on behalf of the whole diocese, not only the world. Yes? Can I listen? See, I want to hear the one. The home visits. This is allowed to go and collect prayers in the respective homes for the members or? First of all, they be private masses, right? In the case they have to be people, they should not exceed 10. I think you heard what the president said, okay? Public gatherings should not exceed, you know, uh, 10 people. So if there's a need to organize something like that, even I think he quoted weddings for that much, should not exceed 10, okay? So the number be 10. Who will be chosen, I don't know, it will be on circumstances. Wanyi? Wabu zizia mruzungu. Ok. Okusizi la ukira kuchira angiru cha president. Ya gambi, ukwe wala utakuatibwa. Nduwa di. Zizi la chino tutegiri bulunji. Waka tupaka nsebe mfunye ukupa mwita ino ukupa wala la. Ibi ugedua na wala jibiri. Ninga cha kutangira, kulava anti tetufuna buji buwa dobo. Usezi ya kuwa anti kuchira angiru cha president. Ya kambu, chiba cheta agisa, tibale susezi ya bantu kumi. Ani haba londa sinzi. Kati kuchikuwa taku, ya laba atikasa fenatu banyoku pala. Yemu bilisatu nya, uta suka ji, uta suka kumi. Uta suka kumi.